And today's workout is going to be glutes and hamstrings. And this workout can be done at home, in a hotel, um, specifically if you only have dumbbells because that's all we're gonna be using during this workout. And it'll be, it's gonna be done at a faster pace, so your heart rate will be up. So this is definitely going to burn fat and build muscle at the same time, pretty much. So, I don't know, I'm excited about that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this format. So the first workout is going to be the stiff leg sumo deadlifts. Basically, you're gonna stand with your feet wider than short shoulder width apart, um, but make sure your toes are facing forward and you're gonna slowly lower your dumbbells towards your shins, keeping them close to your shins and then lifting up through your hips. So you wanna feel this in your glutes and your hamstrings. It's not a squat, so don't squat down. You're pressing your hips back and lowering the elbows down towards your shins. And this is just the beginner's variation, so without weights, you're gonna do the workout just the same, except you don't have dumbbells in your hands. The next workout is going to be stiff leg deadlifts. So basically, these are regular deadlifts, so your feet should be shoulder width apart this time, feet also facing forward. And the same thing, you wanna hinge forward from the hips, lowering your dumbbells towards your shins, keeping them close to the shins, pressing your heels, excuse me, your hips back, and lifting up through your hamstrings and your glutes. Make sure when you come up at the top for both deadlifts, you're squeezing your glutes as hard as you can and thrusting forward. That's important. And this is just the beginner's variation of the stiff leg deadlifts. Same thing, just without the weights. The next exercise is the front squat. So basically these are narrow squats, so you don't want a sumo squat. Feet are shoulder width apart, facing forward, holding the dumbbells on your shoulders, palms facing your ears, lowering from your hips, and make sure you're sitting back and your knees are behind your toes. I think my knees were slightly forward when I was doing this, so I'll keep that in mind next time. Make sure when you press up, you're pressing up through your heels so you're hitting those glutes and hamstrings more than the quads. If you press up with your toes, it's gonna be more quad dominant, but we wanna work the hamstrings and glutes. And the beginner's variation is the same thing, except without dumbbells, you guessed it. <laughs> Just remember to keep proper form even, even when you don't have weight. The next exercise is the glute bridge. So you're gonna be lying on your back with a dumbbell across your hips. And on an inhale, you're gonna press up through your heels, lifting your hips up, keeping your knees close together. So you don't want your knees spread out, but you don't want your knees to, like together either. You want your glutes and hamstrings to be as parallel from the floor as possible. Make sure you're not pressing and crunching down on your neck. You wanna keep an open neck while lifting your hips up. Beginner's variation is the same thing without the weight, except your palms are and arms are along your side, palms facing down, and when you lift up, you're also pressing into your palms along with your heels. The next workout, I call them donkey kicks, and I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. There's a variation of this called hydrants, but these are the donkey kicks, and this is when you're kicking straight up. So you don't wanna open your hips out like this, you wanna think more back. Yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. And you want to keep your foot flexed, so you're pressing your heel up towards the ceiling, squeezing your glutes when your leg goes up. Just squeeze your glutes for all of these exercises, you guys. You're just gonna do the same thing on both sides. The beginner's variation is without weights. Same form, without weights. <laughs> I just wanted to include these variations for you guys. I just wanted you to see them. And the next workout is the side lunge. So basically you want to step out to your right or left, whichever foot you're gonna start with or whichever leg you're gonna start with. As far as you can, pressing back into your hips. 
okay? And then when you press up to come back in, you wanna press through your heels. So you're out, pressing back into like the squat slash lunge, lift up through your heels, bring your foot back together to meet the other. And you're just gonna do the same thing on both sides. And try not to swing the weight too much when you're going from side to side. Keep it controlled, holding it down in front of you to keep the weight centered. The beginner's variation is the same thing, just without dumbbells and weights. You want to put your hands somewhere. So some people prefer to put their hands on their hips, or like myself, I had my hands together like this in front of my face. Whatever gives you good balance. The next workout, which I really love, is called the kneeling squats. You're gonna be on your knees and you're gonna Press up through your hips, thrusting forward, squeezing your glutes, and then sitting back down on your heels. I don't recommend this workout if you have bad knees. Uh, I would just skip it altogether. Same thing with the uh, donkey kicks, mind you. So you can put a padding, you know, you can put some padding underneath your knees for both exercises, but if it's still too harsh on your knees, skip these workouts. Beginner's variation, I like to have my hands behind my head. It just makes it easier, pretty much. You know, better, better balance. And that completes the circuit, <laughs> believe it or not. And you wanna repeat this circuit two to four times. And a circuit means you do all seven exercises back to back to back, which is why I decided to use lighter weight. So the dumbbells were two 10 pound dumbbells and one 20 pound dumbbell. And that's pretty much the workout. I burned a lot of calories, I was sweating, my heart rate was up, it was great. Um, I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you want more videos like these. Hopefully this format works out. If not, it's gonna be strange because it's gonna be a regular voiceover and you won't be seeing my face. But if it works out, <laughs> you're seeing my face. I'll definitely be posting more videos soon. I'm just gonna keep them coming. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I have my phone back now, yay. <laughs> so I'll definitely be posting on there again. It was broken for a while, you guys. I was, I was struggling. It was sad. But anyways, until next time, I wanna send you guys some heart shines. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.